Today we have a look at the B550 Aeros Pro. It is a really nice mainboard and I would even say that it is one of the best mainboards for AMD. And let me explain why I think so. First of all it has Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth support. Wi-Fi 6 is the newest standard of your router and it makes it faster and reduces the latency. So for gaming really nice and the Bluetooth is a nice feature just if you want to connect your headphone or something like this you really need Bluetooth. It has USB 2, a lot of them, you can use them to connect your keyboard or something like this and it has USB 3.2 so with this you have high speed USB if you want to connect a storage device or something like this and one of my most liked features is this LAN port. It is a 2.5G gigabytes LAN port. So you have a lot of speed in a compact case because in the X570 you don't have a LAN speed of this. But here you have it and you can use it for your home network or if you have a really fast connection at home. So nice feature. But this board has more. And here first of all you can connect a high speed NVMe, NVMe Gen 4 SSD. So lots of speed and you can even connect your graphics card to a PCI 4 slot. The other slots are PCI 3 but they don't really need to be PCI 4 and because they are PCI 3 you don't have a heatsink there which is better for a silent operation of the mainboard. But there are even more features. It has USB 3 here on the back side but it has one thing that isn't there if you want to connect USB Type-C to your case from this mainboard then this doesn't really go because it has here USB Type-C and it doesn't have two USB Type-C so this is a little bit disappointing but if your case doesn't support USB Type-C then it's not really a problem. So all in all you get a lot of a lot with this case but there's even one more thing which you would really like and this is the BIOS. There are a lot of mainboards which have crappy BIOSes to say the least because they don't are really customizable and you can see this often if you want to control the fans. Here you have a lot of fans, I think over 5 to control and you can control it by the mainboard temperature, CPU temperature or GPU temperature. So you have a lot of temperature and options to choose from. So you can make silent builds or performance builds, whatever you want with this board, you have the option to choose it. So all in all, I would really recommend this board if you have the bugs because it is a little bit on the expensive side, but it is not as expensive as the X570 boards and it has so many features that I would gladly recommend it to you. You can find the link for this product in the description below.